Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I am going to show, I found some, these are really cool, um, they're not metal, I think it's more like flashing that they use um, in building, you know, for like covering pipes and stuff, but I found these at a distributor that I buy all my tags and envelopes and um, boxes from, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate what I can do to this. I'm going to alcohol ink it up and um, emboss it and then um, I have them for sale in your paper pantry. So um, to order all you have to do is um, contact me at yourpaperpantry at comcast.net. So I'm first going to emboss the um, tag and it is longer than the embossing folder, so I just put it up to the top. And then I'll, I can, you know, you can always go through and emboss the other, um, the end of it. Or you can leave it blank and stamp a, something on it. You know, just stamp it with a rubber stamp. Now that's the thing too. Um, I saw, I don't know who did this, I watched it like last year, and they suggest, and I kind of find that it works best, when you take your plates off, the top one put down, the bottom one flip and use on top, and that tends to keep them pretty flat. Okay, so here's the first emboss, and then I could either just put this in here, but... I think I want to put um, this is this is Tim Holtz um, blah 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 embossing folder. I don't even know the name of it, <laughs> so we're just gonna call this one blah 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 two. Um, I don't remember the name of it, and somebody will, I'm sure, hopefully. So I'm just gonna put that in there, and then again keep that one. This one's flipped. I'll run that through without my finger. And I just come backwards. You don't have to come backwards because it won't ruin the, the previous emboss, you know, because this layer will keep it there. So you can't even tell that it's two different embossing folders. So I will go back to my other station and hang okay, on. Okay, so I've got my um, alcohol links and I'm going to use caramel, uh, lettuce, pitch black, maybe a little bit of that. Pesto and wild plum, kind of a Halloweenish feel for the weekend. Um, and I find that it's better to um, like I could alcohol ink this up and then emboss it, and that's perfectly fine. In fact, you know we'll see um, which way works better. But I will start right in um, and start alcoholing it up inking it up. Okay, so I don't know, I just turned on the TV and something bad happened every, evidently in England or because Diane Sawyer's saying, I got the tail end of her saying, we will keep in touch um, with a special report and um, thank God for this country or something like that. And I'm just like, oh boy, now what happened? So I might have to interrupt my broadcast message too if that comes back on. So, um, okay, so I'm just alcoholing it up. And if you haven't used alcohol inks yet, these are so much fun. I have done, um, <clears throat> I've done this on, you can do this on any kind of uh, non-porous surface. And I've even alcohol inked up my, um, switch plate covers in certain rooms like in the living room and in our spare bedroom I made like a little um, cowboy kind of look or western but it's really there it's really fun I, the first time I did it I was like eh, didn't really get it so and that was a couple of years ago and um, now I do like it so especially when you can get some really wild results like this I hope it's not and you can see. 
Okay, so here's some wild plum. And I, this is just white felt. You know, you can buy the... You really just need the the, the um, blending. This is a blending tool. I mean, they're both the same. They sell them separately, but you certainly don't have to buy, you know, a separate tool for everything you do. I cross-contaminate. Oops, look at that. <laughs> I cross-contaminate all the time. So, and then what I do is I just buy white felt and um, cut up the little squares. You know, you can also buy, uh, I think, like, you know, I don't see much difference. Maybe a little thinner, I don't know. But anyways, it's cheaper that way for me. I'm going to do a little more green. Oops. Oh, crap. What color is this? Lettuce. Yeah, I'll do some pesto. See, I'm going to cross-contaminate. And I don't have a problem with that. Oops. Yeah, you do need the... Oops. The, oh, man, I'm just slapping. You do need the blending solution. And I think I could be wrong, and I'm sure somebody out there probably knows that I'm wrong. But I think this is just rubbing alcohol, quite honestly. In fact, what does it say it is? It doesn't say what it is. It has to, doesn't it? Yeah, ethanol, ether, isopropanol, or whatever it is. Probably I'd say it's just rubbing alcohol. So, you know, I mean, you can try just rubbing alcohol and see if that works. Alright, so then, um, I think I'm going to do a little black, too, just to give it that creepy feeling. I didn't get the new um, embossing folders yet, but this would be really cool for the, with his, Tim's new um, uh, embossing folders, the Halloween creepy ones, scary ones. There, just to give it a little bit, and then I think I just want something, maybe some more butterscotch or the caramel. That's pretty. Of course, it's my favorite color orangey, rusty caramel. Yeah, seen that pretty? And like I said, I'm, I'm noticing that um, there are some, some of the silver is still coming through, and I like that. But you might want to alcohol ink first because you'll just get a real solid ink up on your tag. Alright, so then what we do is we grab our stays on. If we can reach it way over here. Oh, I move my desk around or my table around. Okay, then grab stays on. And I kind of, well, I'll let that um, dry just a little bit. <coughs> I won't put, I'll just put some stuff away. Where is my bag? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope nothing really bad happened. It sounds like they found some bombs or some box. I thought they were threatening that the other night or whatever, but I hope not. Okay, so uh, your pad's only going to get the raised. That's still a little sticky. I'm going to wait a little bit. Um, but your pad will only get the raised part, and you don't have to do... Like that's pretty as it is, but wait to see what it, what the um, doing the stays on. And then if you want, you can leave this blank, or you could put a regular tag on back, or a piece of paper, you know, a pretty paper, or alcohol ink ink that up. The one I did um, before, I inked it all in black before I embossed it, and that kind of turned out pretty cool. I alcohol inked it up though. Okay, so then you just rub this all over and this will really take the and I know you know what I know I'm not the first one that demonstrates this how to do this alcohol ink thing but um, I just thought I might catch a couple people that 
didn't see it somewhere else. Ooh, this is cool. I love these um, embossing folders he has. They're really cool. I'm just thinking, you know what I was thinking last night? What's he going to do next? Poor little Tim Holtz. He must just be up all night thinking about his next big idea. I mean, that guy has got, that's a true artist. You know, when you can keep coming up with amazing ideas like that. Okay, so oops, I want to do my crown a little bit more. Now this could be, this would be, oh, look at how cool. I love how that turns out. So I don't know if I'm glaring it up. Get out of the light here. So that's the um, metal tags. And, you know, they're not, I think it's just really just flashing, which is not sharp enough to hurt anybody. So um, give me an email if you'd like to order some of these. Um, um, you can contact me at yourpaperpantry at comcast.net, or you can message me here on YouTube, or you can message me on um, our network, our craft network, Your Paper Pantry at uh, yourpaperpantry.ning.com. So, thanks for watching. Bye.